Hello students, a yeah, very good morning to everyone. So hope you are done your UPSC CMS exams well. So welcome you to the recall of this UPSC CMS model question paper. So how did you feel the question paper was? So from our videos, if you see, students, more than 90% of the questions that are asked in the exams had the answers from our question bank. Totally, I could gather around the maybe uh, 45 to 50 questions from PSM. So this 5 to 10 questions were interlinked with the OG, pediatrics or medicine or something. So out of this, around 23 to 24 questions were from our videos. The content of this 23 to 24 were from our videos. So the remaining, out of this remaining 20, Around 10, we discussed some content on the video. For around 10, we could not discuss the content because of time. So we had our videos for PSM only for 10 hours. Within these 10 hours, we were able to discuss for this 23 to 24 questions. In addition, other 10 questions, we were to be able to discuss some one or two points in the MCQs, not the whole points, but one or few points in the MCQs. So you'll see the questions one by one. So if you see in the slides, so we'll have what we discussed in the class. So we'll have along with this. So it will be easy for you to make sure so the questions were asked from our content. So you can make sure also. So we were able to guess so many topics related to the questions. So if you see, mainly the questions that you see, health programs, they constitute around 20% of the questions. They constitute around 20% of the questions. So we constitute around 20% of the questions. Then nutrition around 15% of the questions. Then family planning at around 15 to 20%. Mostly linked with OG, obstetrics and gynecology. Then communicable diseases, they constitute around 15%. So rest were contributed by occupational health. Uh, two, three questions from the basic epidemiology, infectious disease epidemiology, we had few questions here and there. But mainly we had to focus on health programs, nutrition. Nutrition this time it was focused more than as usual health planning, sorry, as usual family planning, as usual family planning in connection with OG and also exclusive for our PS. So we'll go into the questions. If you see the first question, the Source of infection and reservoir of infection are the same in. So the source of infection and reservoir of the same. Or same in which disease? We already discussed during our communicable diseases in tetanus. If you see for tetanus in the soil, we have the spores. In the soil, what do we have? We have the spores. From these spores only we get the vegetative form. Same. When we get a road traffic accident or some contact of our wound with the soil, we get these disease. Tetanus, it can be transmitted from the soil. So tetanus or tetanus, both the source of infection as well as the reservoir are same. Source of infection is nothing but the immediate environment from which we get the disease. So reservoir is something where the infectious organism can undergo multiplication. So we can tell, uh, for example, for COVID-19, the immediate environment can be a door knob multiplicating. It can multiplicate inside a person's lung. Okay. Next question. The average number of children a yeah, woman could have if she were to pass through her reproductive years bearing children at the same rate as the woman of any age group. So this is nothing but total fertility rate. It will be around 2.1. So we are aiming for a total fertility rate. Our goal was 2.1. It approximates around two children. How many children do we have? Usually in India, we have around two children. So it is nothing but. So what we discussed in the video, the average number of children a woman would have if she passes through her reproductive years, like around 15 to 39 years, she passes through her reproductive years, bearing children at the same rate. See here. There is no mention about mortality. 
so the word mortality is only used in net reproduction rate so the word mortality is only used in net reproduction rate so what is our goal for nrr nrr of 1 here they have tfr our goal is 2.1 so the definition is for tfr as we discussed to fertility rate next srs what is srs it's nothing but sample registration system it consists of continuous enumeration of births and deaths two people are there one is an enumerator and it is an another person is an independent surveyor who does surveys every six months so we have dual so dual record this srs is nothing but sample registration system it is a dual record system one is by the enumerator and another is by the independent survey which is done six monthly once by an investigator supervisor so this system is called as dual record system or sample registration system a srs the so next question nalgonda technique an easy question from nutrition so why did we use nalgonda technique for fluorosis see for fluorosis as we discussed in the video for fluorine so when the fluorine content in the water is higher you should keep it less than 1.5 parts per million when it goes to more than 1.5 parts per million then it will not be suitable for drinking so we have to remove the fluorine in water so what was the technique that technique is called nalgonda technique that technique is called nalgonda technique it is for defluoridation of the water so it was invented it is nothing but like it is linked to a state uh, linked to a state a district nalgonda district i think it was in andhra it was developed so this technique was given the name nalgonda technique next question which food protein is considered to be the best and used as a reference protein if you see egg protein so yes a 60 gram of egg if you see it gives 6 gram of protein what is the specialty with this 6 gram of protein is if you take this 6 gram of protein through the mouth all this 6 gram will be absorbed by the intestines or the stomach and it will be used for building up of the body so the total net protein utilization the net protein utilization that is digestibility coefficient into biological value as we saw in our video this net protein utilization it comes to 100 for egg so egg is used as a reference protein we compare all the proteins in comparison with egg we can see the body builders taking egg daily 3x 4x 5x the body builder why they are taking this body builder sex because it is the reference protein it is the best protein it is the best protein next what is the expected outcome of suman what is suman surakshit matritva aswashana we saw in the video in our upsc cms video lectures which you had subscribed you would have seen this in this there is an initiative for zero preventable maternal deaths and zero preventable newborn deaths easy next this question the water body cc was inspected to look for the presence of what x mosquito x so the mosquito x cc they are boat shaped single not in clusters so cluster means it is what q x p for p as we saw in the video recorded video as i discussed in the recorded video so c for c so it is not in cluster so q x will not come it has to be either anopheles or it has to be either edes but if you see here it is boat shaped where it is boat shaped this boat shape is only for anopheles the boat shape is only for anopheles it has lateral floats boat shaped with lateral floats it is only for anopheles it is only for anopheles so anopheles transmits which disease anopheles transmits malaria anopheles transmits what it transmits malaria so next question the transmission chain in man snail man so we cannot discuss this question because of lack of time so man snail man so it is definitely not my dear you know so man snail man it is starting but if you can see here snail so in cystosomiasis cystosomiasis man due to urination or defecation it goes to the water then the water they hatch and they release the miracidia they penetrate the snail tissue and then they undergo development 
and then ultimately they again reach the man when he comes in contact with the water so this is the circulation of the life cycle so it is in which it is in histosomiasis man snail man in which the carbon disease histosomiasis the next cost of implementation of ayushman bharat pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana although we discussed only about the 5 lakh health insurance actually this 5 lakh health insurance it is like a, it is given both by the central government as well as the state government although we did not discuss this point in the video it was asked so it was given by the cost of implementation program is both central government as well as state government then all of the following are dashboard indicators for monitoring of india newborn action plan out of this it is impact so impact is nothing but like what is the main impact so if you are doing some action outcome so the main outcome so what is the main outcome we are going to see for the newborns so newborns main is neonatal mortality so that will be the newborn action plan main impact level indicator so what is the impact so the main impact will be to reduce the newborn deaths so what is a newborn death it is nothing but death of the infant so newborn death is nothing but it is the so death of a newborn between birth to 28 days of life that is called as a neonate newborn So this neonatal mortality rate. Next, which of the following correctly represent three critical determinants to be declared as a FR the first of all unit? For first of all unit, what are the things we need to have? For the first of all unit, I I discuss the C monk, or it can also be told as a FR you first of all unit. It should have what mainly surgery, surgical facility should be there. So what should be there mainly? we discussed in the video mainly there should be surgical intervention as we discussed in the video surgical intervention then there may be a need for blood blood storage facility should be there then there should be for newborn care neonatal intensive care unit should be there so a and c so where is a and c there is only this option only a and c so b is already available commonly so we can rule out the b options so it is a C and D. Next, which of the following are health education models? So, which of the following are health education models? So, this we did not discuss due to time constraint. So, if you see medical model, motivation model, social intervention model, these three are models used for health education. These three are models used for health education. Next. who are the beneficiaries under icds scheme integrated child development services scheme if you see here we discussed in the class it includes children between 0 to 6 years of age then pregnant women as well as it also includes the lactating women then it would adult sense for adult sense only girls are involved not boys so except for adults and boys girls are involved so b c and d so c and d it is for sure you know so c and d c and d which will you choose boys or girls it is girls so it is b c and d next what is the correct increasing order of minimum age at which the following vaccines are administered to a child as part of the national immunization schedule after the birth of the child so we discussed the national immunization schedule here at birth what are the vaccines we gave as we discussed in the video bcg we gave it a first bcg then followed by opv and hepatitis b birth dose then followed by opv pentavalent rota fractional ipv and pneumococcal conjugates so this is followed by rota so next comes the rota then ninth month what we are giving j japanese encephalitis then td vaccine where we are giving td vaccine we are giving at only at 10 years or 15 years we are giving td so it is first bcg 
followed by rota so first bcg then followed by rota virus vaccine then followed by je vaccine then followed by td vaccine as we discussed in the video so 1 so 3 2 and so and 1 3 2 and 4 